breaking news we are covering at this hour. Just coming into our newsroom, we are learning new developments in the February Little Rock police shooting of Bradley Blackshire. We want to send it to Mitch McCoy, who is live at the Pulaski County Prosecutor's Office. Mitch, you have been covering this case from the very beginning. What have we learned today? Yeah. Yeah, Mallory, good afternoon. Within just the last few minutes here, I have been able to confirm through one source and then ultimately a second person who is a friend of the uh, Blackshire family that uh, no charges will be filed against a Little Rock police officer, Charles Starks, in connection to that uh, February shooting death of Bradley Blackshire. This information just coming down within the last few minutes uh, that we've been working here on this story throughout the afternoon. Just within the last few minutes, we saw the family of Bradley Blackshire coming out from the Pulaski County Prosecutor's Office. You could tell the mother of Bradley Blackshire was uh, visibly upset uh, when walking out of the door and then ultimately speeding away. Uh, we have yet to be able to confirm this with the Pulaski County Prosecutor's Office. We have been told through uh, several different sources that the Prosecutor's Office uh, will be releasing a statement later tonight, uh, later this afternoon possibly detailing exactly their uh, thought process and deciding no charges. Of course, this has been a decision that has been uh, very uh, much expected uh, throughout this uh, entire investigation and the uh, protesters, of, as you may recall, shut down traffic over on Markham and Broadway earlier this week demanding charges be filed against Officer Charles Starks. But again, within just the last few minutes, we have been able to confirm through two different sources. One source, I don't want to name the position. The second is a uh, friend of the Bradley Blackshire family, and they both tell me no charges have been filed uh, in, in this connection to the shooting death of Bradley Blackshire back in February. But I'm going to keep working some sources. I'm going to try and get some new information for you guys at 5 o'clock, but for now, we're live downtown. Mitch McCoy, KARK4 News. And Mitch, if someone isn't familiar and wasn't watching the other day, kind of walk us through what happened just a few days ago when you did see uh, some brief protests that took place downtown blocking off some of those streets. So walk us through what happened a few days ago in connection to this case. Yeah, so the, the protesters got on Markham near Broadway. Uh, there was about 20 of them. Everything remained very peaceful. They were demanding to speak with either the new Little Rock Police Chief Keith Humphrey or Mayor Frank Scott Jr. Chief Humphrey, in a move that uh, was very unprecedented, walked down from police headquarters a block or two and spoke with those protesters right in the middle of Markham and listened to their concerns. They wanted Officer Charles Starks fired. They wanted charges to be filed. Uh, it was then that the protesters agreed, okay, you've, you came down, you talked with us, we're going to leave the streets, and traffic was, able, uh, was able to reopen in less than an hour. Uh, yesterday, for those who, who don't know, Little Rock Police Chief Keith Humphrey held a news conference saying that, um, that he had met with the Pulaski County Prosecutor. He told us yesterday that there was no timeline in deciding if charges will be filed. Of course, obviously, 24 hours later, here's the decision, according to Two sources, no charges filed. Again, that comes after just 24 hours after the police chief told us there was no timeline. Mitch McCoy alive in downtown Little Rock. Certainly a story we will be following. More on this breaking news report, Mitch. Thank you. Coming up in about 10 minutes on KRK4 News at 5. And we are back with more after this. Stick